Hey everybody, thank you so much for being on this simple beginner tutorial that will show you how you can spawn an actor in Unreal Engine. Now this is designed and created for really low level basic engine users, people who just started using Unreal Engine and trying are trying to figure out how is it working in terms of its blueprint capabilities. Now it's really complicated, I'm also a beginner, and it's super hard to get into blueprints if you don't have a background in programming. Even if you do have a background in programming, this is actually visual programming that can also get things more to the complex side. However, I'm going to show you a really simple thing you can do and figure out immediately and create it as basically a stepping stone, your first stepping stone into the marvelous and huge world of blueprints. So let's say you have a game, in this case this is a standard third person project that you can create in Unreal and let's say that you want to create an object that will appear in your level once the player enters the gameplay and starts the same title or game. To do this, we're going to create two different blueprints. One which we're going to call the spawn or spawner and the other one is going to be the actual object itself. Now it's important to recognize that all of this can be done in a multitude of ways but I'm going to present to you a really simple way of doing that. Basically only having a blueprint actor that will be able to spawn to create another actor inside of a level. So first we're going to create that thing which we're going to spawn and we're going to call it a, a blueprint. We're going to choose a blueprint actor. Actor as you can see is an object that can be placed or spawn anywhere in the world of the game which is the game level and we're going to spawn one precisely in this manner. We're going to call it a nice cone. Once we have it, we're going to open it up and right here in your viewport, in the components, right now we only have this actor sphere. It represents nothing. If we add it to the world, we'll see nothing. We have to add in a component and we're going to add, yes, you guessed it, a cone. Here it is. It's a cone that is presented or connected to this actor and we're going to drag it over the default scene root because it's the only thing we want to use, a cone. And with that we have our cone and we have the thing that we want to spawn in the world. Now we need to have something that is going to do the spawning and that is going to be another blueprint class which is going to be once again an actor that we're going to call spawn. Like the superhero only without the superhero abilities, yet with a single ability, which is going to be inside of the event graph, you immediately, once you open it up and we're in the blueprints, have these nodes, event begin play, things that start when you start the game and things that happen once you start the game, event actor begin overlap, things that begin when your actor character goes through or over a particularly defined space in that level and event think event tick that will mark the passage of time. We don't need these two, we only need this one. And from event begin play we're going to create another node which is going to be spawn actor from class. And as you can see it says spawn actor none and your first job here, first objective is to select your object or your pawn in this case here and we're going to find it by typing nice cone and here it is and right now the event begin play will be able to spawn this nice cone <laughs> however it doesn't know if you go for comp compile and save where should that spawning take place that is why we need to use these spawn transform this is actually the element of the spawn node which tells where and what actually where is the class but what is the class but where is the spawn transform or the moment the location 
the object size and object rotation or any other transformation that takes place after spawning. To do that, we're not going to access it through a node, which you can do as well. We're going to add the location position XYZ manually. So we're going to right click on it and choose this split structure pin. And now you see spawn transform location, rotation and scale. To get that, we're going to use the data from the level by selecting one of these objects. As you can see, the, this object is located at minus 390, 280 and 125. We're going to copy these into the spawn location, only slightly changing the Z location. Because if you see, if I move this part of the staircase, I'm moving it on the Z plane. So I want to say, let's put the cone on 180 Z. I'm going to compile and save and let's try out the game and see what happens. I'm in the game and nothing is happening. Why is that? Because my spawn actor blueprint has not been added to the level. Don't forget that. You need to add it manually, physically to the level and now it's present in the level and it's doing whatever it is designed to do. Of course, the players won't see it because it's, it's just a blueprint selection or a set of blueprints, but now it should work. So we save it and let's try it out. And here it is. Here's that magnificent cone right there and it spawned just like it should. So there you have it. It's a really basic, really simple Thing you can create in your Unreal Engine to add a bit more depth to this, all of this setup to these elements, I'm going to add another node that will make sure that my spawn actor does not create that cone immediately, but after two seconds since the event begin play takes off or starts. So I'm going to break this node. We can do that, but holding Alt key and clicking on the same connection. And I'm going to add another really simple node, which is delay. Here it is, one of the simplest nodes you can use. I'm going to expand it a bit. And as you can see, duration is now 0.2. This is in seconds and I'm going to change it to two. And I'm going to connect it to spawn actor. And right now that same cone should appear in my level after two seconds from the moment I start playing. Again, compiling and saving. I'm going for play. And here it is. There was that small delay and it appeared in the level as a actor. In this case, a cone, a nice cone to be precise. So there you have it. It is, in my view, one of the simplest things you can do in Unreal Engine blueprints, something that can be that kind of a baseline knowledge that you can then expand, add further notes and play around with this spawn actor. It's really simple. Don't forget to add the same element to your level. Otherwise, it won't do anything, but you won't get any errors because it's designed right. It's not employed. So you need to employ it by adding it to your level. Hopefully you found this video useful. I know blueprints are really complicated, really tough and a hard thing to figure out, but hopefully this video will be helpful. That's all for me. My name is Ivica. If you're a first time viewer, please consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to me. Don't forget to leave a like if you found the video useful. And there are other ways you can support me. Check them out in the description as well. I have other videos on Unreal Engine. All of them are basic level stuff. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine project as well. Until my next video, bye bye.